What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I have a very important message for all apes out there and I do want to fully explain to you guys why AMC has never been more bullish. I know you guys are seeing those comments on these videos and in other videos of people essentially saying they have sold out of AMC. They can't take it any longer because Shiba and all these other cryptos and other stocks are making bigger moves. Now that is to your benefit. Do not get that confused. When you are seeing people selling out that is actually to your benefit as long as we are all not selling out. We will explain this as well as why I am so bullish and why I continue to buy more shares of AMC almost on a daily basis basis so we are going to get straight into this information you guys will get a ton of value out of this video if you do drop that like on the video consider subscribing to the channel let me know down below in the comment section what you guys think about all of this information now we are going to keep it pretty basic because it comes down to basic factors now that's not to say these are obvious because they are not obvious i think a lot of people just get distracted of other cryptos and other stocks that are going up 10 50 100 percent in any given day or or any given week and amc is only up 3.56 percent today but this is actually a very bullish thing and the main reason that i am buying more amc is because we are not cratering and we are at almost all-time low volumes for the past about two weeks now now why is that so bullish with a typical momentum stock take cei or shibu shiba sh i keep calling it sh shibu but shiba if you take these these cryptos and these stocks and you take the volume away to the same extent that has happened with AMC, you would see the price completely crater that is not what is happening with amc some apes have sold out I, I shouldn't even call them apes but some people have sold out of their positions i know you guys have seen those comments so i'm not trying to spread fud this is actually the opposite this should make you more bullish on your positioning because we are not selling off with ultra low volumes being in the 30 million range when we were in the hundreds of millions of shares traded per day range now exactly why is that so bullish and we're going to keep this very very simple is low volume bullish or bearish down volume indicates bearish trading while up volume indicates bullish trading if the price of a security falls but only on low volume there may be other factors at work aside from a true bear turn now essentially we are seeing the opposite of this we are seeing low volume but the stock is going up sometimes it trades sideways but overall the stock is going up now if you've seen low volume and a continued sell-off or a gap down then that would obviously not be a good thing for the stock but you're seeing that low volume you're seeing the stock either holding up or going up every single day now why ultimately is this so good why is this a great thing we're seeing low volume it is simply due to the fact of these apes they sold out right they know the squeeze is still on the table they want to go to these other stocks these other coins make their returns which is fine it, if that's what you want to do and it works for you fine go ahead be my guest go and do that but time in the market be it's timing the market so essentially what is going to happen when amc does start to rally people are going to buy back in that is going to cause the share price to go up even more because it's not necessarily you know who holds what shares at what price when the share price goes up there's something called a bid and a ask the bid is uh the the price that you're essentially going to sell it at and the ask is the price that you are asked or I, I got that backwards. <laughs> you guys understand what I'm saying. It's it's the the best buy price, the best sell price. Excuse me for that. I did that backwards. But it's the best buy price, best sell price. If you start to see a lot of people piling into a stock, that's the FOMO. That's why these stocks are running up so much because they are just putting in their market orders and it keeps going up up so you're seeing a lot of FOMO building on the sidelines that is exactly what we want to see is that FOMO we already know that is basically the X factor of AMC that is what we can't account for is how many people are waiting for the short squeeze to happen now if you were 
considered an ape at one point if you own shares of amc and you sold out and then you see the price going crazy like these other cryptos that you sold out to go follow or just stocks in general you sold out amc to follow these and now you see amc going crazy you are going to see these same people buying back into the stock so it's not to say you know these former apes are selling out and completely walking away from the stock that's simply not the case the tendies have not been printed they are waiting to get back into the stock that's where the low volume comes in because we are not cratering on this low volume this is also showing me that a lot of institutional investors are holding on to their positions and as we did point out in the last video the 13 f filings are starting to come out and we are seeing a majority of hedge funds that are actually holding on to their positions or loading up on new positions we've only seen about two hedge funds in total during the second half of september and up to now that have sold out completely of their positions but we have seen much much more that have bought brand new positions or kept their same positions typically averaged in at about 45 to 51 dollars per share so a lot of bullish activity from the hedge funds this low volume great sign right here the FOMO that is building on the sidelines FOMO went from this before right because a lot of apes were in it now the FOMO is way bigger because some people are out of their positions that is why I am buying more AMC now there is a lot that is you know coming in the near term that could move amc a lot and i know a lot of people say the fundamentals just don't matter but that is not the case the fundamentals do matter if amc was worth 50 dollars per share on a book value do you think it'd be trading at 38 dollars probably not do you think that shorts would not be covering if they were substantially underwater with a high short interest that they, they would be covering that's not the case here we're still not at that level where the fundamental valuation makes sense but every new catalyst that we get it makes that go up a little bit more now we do have earnings coming on november 1st obviously 2021 so a little less than a month away as of right now and we see amc that is continuing to be record after record guys uh take a look at this this is what adam aaron did say october 4th if you guys did not see this new press release from amc theaters venom and bond let us set records for our highest grossing weekend since the pandemic hit in 2020 some 3.9 million visited our theaters globally you know my thoughts on sages predicting demise of cinemas choke on that and also they did have their highest days uh, as well for uh for actual beverage sales and food sales as well so we're seeing great great things for amc we've seen a lot of these fights go on in theaters we've seen a lot of events happen in theaters and this is all going to you know equate to a very positive earnings and i do think that is going to be very important this quarter alone especially if they blow it away like they did last earnings beating their their highest estimated revenue numbers by over 100 million dollars as well as that we do have the debt ceiling that is now almost pretty much gone as well as that we do have the short interest almost at all-time highs so all in all this is why i continue to buy amc almost on a daily basis basis so hopefully this provided you guys some clarity what you can really take away from this is the large pool or even larger growing pool of FOMO buyers that are going to be waiting to buy into the stock the real x factor that we just can't account for when it comes down to AMC as well as that the low volume should mean that we are cratering on the stock but we are doing the exact opposite we are actually going up in price so that's what you guys need to know if you guys got value out of this video drop the like on the video consider subscribing to the channel as well as let me know down below in the comment section what you guys think about this information have you sold out of amc are you buying more let me know your guys's opinion on this topic so that is all for this video if you guys want access to all my trades in real time day trades swing trades long-term investments with stock options and or crypto check out the link down below for the buy and sell alerts free stock with public as well as weeble but that is all for this video i will see you guys in the next one.